What's that, Luna? Oh, you want to start a podcast? <coughs> okay, so what's it going to be about? <coughs> History of the Byzantine Empire and how it relates to the Holy Roman Church through its culture, religious practices, and societal norms? Wow, that's intense. So how are you going to distribute your podcast to the world? <coughs> Anchor.fm? Good call, loons. You know that Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many other platforms. That way you can spend more time chasing your brother Sherman and soaking up some sunbeams. <coughs> I know Sherman can be a jerk, but he's just a cat, remember? <coughs> And the other thing, it has everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Anchor.fm is like one-stop podcast creation. Plus, it's free. I mean, as a podcast spokesdog, you have no idea why things hold monetarial meaning, but just know free is a good thing. <laughs> yes, so everyone should download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. <laughs> okay, there's no need for that language. I think our enthusiasm is enough to encourage people to try it out. <laughs> Seriously, Byzantine history, not like a dog treat or most doggy accessible park review? <coughs> okay, I mean fine, but if you have more listeners than us, no busy bones for like a week. <coughs> oh, I mean a, a day. <coughs> Ugh, I can't stay mad at you. And I'm Veronica. And welcome to the Chick Lit Book Club podcast. Today's Passion Flicks reviews are about The Naughty List and Dry Spell. <laughs> Hello, my dear. Hello, my dear. Oh. Oh. We're talking about it's a little page to screen today. Oh, I'm so excited. I love these things. Uh, you know, I love doing them. I mean, I'm <clears throat> glad. It's fun. I mean, I get to read a nice little short story, get to watch a little, like, love on the on the screen. It is. Um, I do enjoy, like, a good comparison between a book and a movie, so. Yeah, I mean, because uh, there's so many times where it's usually the book is better than the movie, but there's some times where it's like, oh, I don't know. You know, I loved both the, um, uh, 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 uh. Oh, of course I was going to make this reference. I can't remember the damn book. (laughs) Silver Linings Playbook. I read the book and I watched the movie. I actually watched the movie quite a bit. I love the ending of that movie. It's so good. The dance competition, which um, it is in the book, but Mm -hmm. it's It's a little different, though. Yeah. Did you read the book? Yeah, I read the book. I also saw the movie. I think, I mean, the book is not as romantic as the as Correct. The it's movie not. is. Yeah. It's not. Um, it's actually kind of sadder. I mean, there's like, but anyhow. Anywho. So, in this instance, so, I mean, this, in case, this is our second episode. So, yeah. um, we are going to, it's not just going to be passion flicks. That's why we kind of said page to screen, because it happens to be passion flicks right now, but we will do other things that are, um, you know, um, uh, an adapted screenplay or something like that. Mm-hmm. So, first off, both of these that I've chosen are short. One is a Christmas, and one is not a Christmas. So I'm I, we're getting closer on the. They're still they're still listed, so I can still watch them. Um, of Netflix, or sorry, uh, Passion Flicks originals. So the first is the Naughty List. Um, that was written by Emma Chase. Um, I was going to look up really quick uh, the uh, director for that. Um, I want to say it. I, I don't. It was not uh, Tosca. To my our buddy Tosca, um, our, our BFF Tosca. Yeah, who who retweeted us? I'm very oh excited God. about. Um, Seriously. <laughs> It was directed. Really singing oh, tonight. <laughs> oh, she's really singing. Um, Olivia Grace Applegate is the director. So let me talk a little bit about the book first, because then I can tell you why I thought this. You'll get it quickly. So, um, it's a short story about um, Christmas in a small like mountain town. Um, we have the heroine and hero, and I apologize. I read this a couple weeks ago at this point, and so I'm trying to remember. 
<laughs> because the I was like, we need to change our schedule for a minute. Yeah, no, it's fine. Um, let me see if I can pull. It. Oh, I'll just pull it up here. Oh, so Ryan and that's not Ryan. It's Jace and uh, Evie. Re- Jason, he Evie. So um, they both. So she h- happens to end up in this town because the man that she was dating kind of like they decided just to, to do this like two week trip pretty early in their in their relationship and then realized quite quickly that oh we're not compatible okay so i mean that she, happens okay yeah so she's taking a shower and he leaves her in the town without a car that's and nice so she's like oh i could leave or i could go you know i'm gonna go get some food and then i'm gonna leave and she ends up going to this like pub sports bar place and kind of falls in love with the town. And so just decides to stay. So she's been there for over five years. Oh, okay. As the waitress. Like, she decided to take a waitressing job and... Or was offered a waitressing job. And then the waitress that she had at the restaurant ended up needing a re- remote... Like, a roommate. So they end up living together. All right, cool. You learn pretty quickly that she's in love with Jace, who is the owner and bartender. That makes sense. Yeah. So her friend, who was the waitress, uh, who was Heather... Um, is in college and for her, she's in for physical therapy and for one of her classes, which is, I was a little confused as to why this was an assignment, was a very like explicit list of things that you would do sexually um, eh, called like the naughty list. And okay. yeah, like some of them were like, do you do anal? Do you do this? Do you do that? And um it, uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty, pretty, uh, so anyhow, so what <laughs> uh, 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 um, Evie does is, um, she, she fills it out because, you know, it's got to be somebody, I mean, obviously she's like, you don't put your name on it, whatever. And, but she's very honest. And at one point she starts talking about how, like, she's pretty detailed about what she wants and she starts using his name what she wants Jace to do to her. And I'm going through to try to see where, uh, what the, the, the list was. Cause I, it was, it was funny. Um, and by the by, I'm going to really highly recommend this, this story. It's very good. I, it's I free. laughed. It's free. Exactly. Yeah, it's on her website. Yeah. Um, so the first one is, have you ever had a sexual fantasy about Santa Claus? If yes, describe below. And uh, the second question is, have you uh, have you ever fantasized about bondage kink? And of course, she's like, yes. Have you ever fantasized about being spanked during sexual intercourse? And she says, yes. Have you ever fantasized about food play during sexual intercourse? If yes, what kind? And she's like, yes, melts with chocolate. And so then, then the part of it is like, ch- check everything that you're into. And, then, and it's, I enjoy dirty talk. Check. I enjoy baby talk. Eh, no. I enjoy swallowing during oral sex. This line blew me out of the water. Spitters are quitters, and I'm no quitter. <laughs> you, I see you, girl. Um, I enjoy gagging during oral sex. Check. <laughs> this is all that's in the story. I enjoy anal sex slash play. And she writes, never tried, but open to new experiences. What are your naughtiest recurring fantasies? And this is where she decides to just (laughs) wax poetic about what she'd like Jace to do to her. The last is telling Jace Winters, I'm in love with him, knowing he feels the same way, running the bar with him, marrying him, having 3.5 kids and a husky named Snowbell with him, making a life with him. So... At the same time, so she's like filling the list out. She's also she's she's not going home for Christmas. It doesn't sound like in the story that she's got a great family life. Like they're fine, but she doesn't. She's not going home to visit her parents. So she's staying, and she, the present she got for herself was a she bought herself a car because she didn't have one. She's been saving up and saving up. So it, it arrives like somebody drops it off while she's making this list. Happens to be a Mustang convertible <laughs> in a mountain town. <laughs> Jace loses his fucking mind. And he he does. I, I, I was not happy with this part because he starts screaming at her. But it, I, I mean, like, you don't you know, like the reader knows it's because he's obviously he has he cares about her. 
and he comes in and she embarrasses her pretty much in front of like all of her colleagues because she's so embarrassed that like how could you be so stupid to make this decision and blah blah blah. I'm taking we're going car shopping this weekend. I'm taking this back tomorrow and getting your money back. Very you know Aww. alpha male maybe not so great. So. <clears throat> So she's back in the room, you know, in the back and finishing up the list. And he comes in and he flusters her so much that she drops the list on accident. (gasps) Doesn't realize that she lost it. (laughs) Doesn't realize she lost the list. And so a couple days later, her friend, the other waitress is like, so where's the list? And she's like, I put it in your locker. She's like, no, you didn't. No, oh, you no. didn't. So she's like, I'm fucking humiliated. She goes, well, no one knows it's you. Like, you don't have your name on it. Not knowing. No, but Jace's name's all over this bitch, you know? So um, <laughs> so she, um, so anyhow, it, it goes to the next, the next scene, and it's Christmas. It's Christmas Eve, and they're having a Christmas party at the bar, and uh, at one point, Jace asks her to stay to help close the bar. There's a present. It's the naughty list. Oh my god! How fucking embarrassing. Yep. Oh, it, it, she's embarrassed for about two seconds because, let's just say that he fulfills everything on that list. Yes. In detail. Yes. In detail, and. It is, I have to say, I'm not going to lie, for a short story, it was one of the sexiest things I've read in a long time. Um, I I mean, and even the stuff where he, he, he's dominating, it's like, you, it's hot. It's really hot. Um, (laughs) I'm trying to find really quick. Um, So, (laughs) I'm trying to find. Oh, <laughs> with sure strong hands, Jace unbuckles his belt and takes out his cock. I only have a f- have seconds to admire it, but what I see makes me so hot, hot and wet. I feel moisture coating my inner thighs. He's thick and long, smooth and beautiful. A hard, delicious looking cock. Dick, sorry, whatever. Either way. He taps whatever. my cheek with the broad, round head. <laughs> Suck it like you mean it. So, they're together at the end, (laughs) FYI. Oh, oh, here you go. Speaking of gagging, he fills my mouth, pulse pushing all the way back, nudging my throat and blocking my airway. I gag once and he retreats. He pushes it again, pressing me forward. I gag again and spit dribbles out from my lips, cooling on my chin. Easy, baby. Let it happen. I got you. So, I finished said story, and I said, oh, Tosca, Tosca, how are you going to adapt this? I literally texted Veronica and said, I'm about to watch some porn. Mm -hmm. Just going to let you know. Yes, I recall. So, no porn. (laughs) Aw. God damn it. It was fine. The passion flicks was fine. I mean, it was not my favorite. I'm not going to lie. I, I mean, you're getting your... I, I hate to say no one ever watched anything because you're 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes. Like, right, yeah. It's very... It's romantic. You're still going to get the romance out of it. It's just like, maybe not the best, best book to pick. Like, why would you pick this when you know you can't film it? Because... Although the the whole scene with the fight with the car, I was so glad they kept it because that is such a big turn part of turning point for the story. But I mean, the selling point is a sex baby, and there's this, <laughs> there's like a sex scene, but it's like no one's <laughs> I we don't even see boobs, so what's the point? Um, which is un, it's not usual. I mean, Passion Passion Flicks keeps it most of the time PG thirteen. Like there's no boobs usually ever. Um, butts we do see butts um, on males usually. I'm, I'm, which I'm completely fine with. Right. Um, <laughs> there's a couple little quick, like weird little things that I'm gonna just kind of. The hair do on the lead girl drove me fucking crazy because it was that one piece of hair 
that falls down. She had like it pulled back for the most part, except for this one straggly piece of hair the whole time, the whole time. And I was like, somebody fix this. Does somebody have a bobby pin? I got 4,000 of them because I have an issue with bobby pins. <laughs> I have an issue. Oh, it's a, it's a problem. It's fine. It's um, not a problem. It's fine. No, because I... <laughs> You can when never I have moved, too many bobby pins. When I moved, I literally asked somebody, I said, how many bobby pins did you find? They're like, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm like, thank you. Okay. So, thank you. And the other issue is <laughs> acting wasn't great. But I think that might also be because trying to adapt something that's so explicit to make it PG-13 yeah. It might have been in the writing a little bit too. I don't know. Yeah. But it just wasn't I wasn't feeling it. Like I've usually I usually love these and I'm like eh, I, I would I'd still recommend it. Watch it. It's ten minutes. God. What right. what else what can you I'm what else? still gonna read the story and then watch the <laughs> Oh my god. You <laughs> should read to. my next thing was read the damn story. Why aren't you read why haven't you read it? Okay. We'll put the link in the in uh, the description. Yeah. Because it's and a free the, story. And the guy who plays the lead is really pretty um so that is the naughty list so i would um i'd recommend both i mean i'm not gonna say don't read it and don't watch it um definitely fucking read it um (laughs) uh so the next is dry spell by v keeland which um v is becoming very popular she's also on that galatea app oh yeah Mm -hmm. um i think we we do have a, a v on our uh, list so um no again i've read both so um now unfortunately with this story i liked them i liked both of them they were and again they were very very again with p- past flicks like i've mentioned before it's so it's word for word for the most part mm-hmm. uh, adaptation yeah. yeah now there was more sex in this one in the movie but in the short story, there's very little sex. <laughs> there's mentions of sex, but it's not as much sex. I was like, I'm confused. My libido was confused on this one. <laughs> My loins confused. are confused. Um, but uh, so a little bit about this story. So dry spell. Um, we've got uh, a female lawyer. And uh, I'm trying to look really quick. Uh I think with the with this one you had to order it cuz I think I had to have it emailed to me cuz it was a like um it's free but you have to um you you had to like sign up for something I believe. Okay. Um, like a newsletter or something? Yeah. Um you go into bookfunnel.com. There's a, there's a oh, link yeah. of, in Goodreads. You can go and um and I honestly I would recommend to read this one too. I it, I enjoyed it. Um so Ava, Ava is a lawyer and she is dating our co, uh, not co-counsel. Um, like, a, um, she's a, I want to, I don't know what, if she's a defense or prosecutor, but the other counsel, she ends up, you know, dating, uh, this other guy and they've been dating for like, I think she said at this point it was like six weeks or eight weeks. They have never had sex. She keeps like putting it out there. She's like, you know, jump on this or what? Mm-hmm. And he just kind of, he takes her out to dinner, but never gets any farther. Like she's been in his house and been like trying to be like, you want this? You want this? And he's just kind of like, pass. So she's like, you know what? It's his birthday. I'm going to take him up. You know, I'm going to like, I'm going to just stick it out. There. I'm going to put it out there like a buffet. You want to come eat it? You can come eat it. <laughs> so she is, she decides to take one for the team and, maybe that's not the word i want to use anyhow she decides to come over and she has uh a trench coat on with her g-string and her bra underneath it and her high heels (laughs) she comes over to his house and does it tell us what his name is it does not but i can't remember what it is in the story um evan evan so Evan, <laughs> so she knocks on Evan's door. Door's open. She goes in. She removes her coat. She starts walking into the apartment. She hears something in the bathroom. She gets to the bathroom. Evan is railing some chick in the shower. Oh. That's where we get to see Evan's butt. Okay. In the movie. So she's like, 
and leaves, runs out. She gets into the uh, elevator, starts hitting the button. Again, didn't grab her coat, leaves without her coat and her G-string and her bra. Gets in the elevator, <laughs> hits the button, nothing's going anywhere. She realizes that there's somebody in the elevator with her. <laughs> and it's Evan's next door neighbor. Stop so she, it. Oh, Christ. She made a comment saying, like, how he must be getting on the reg. He's so loud because he could hear it. the walls are super thin. So, but she doesn't know. So she's like, she, he goes, like, I can't remember what his first line is, but it's like something along the lines of looks good from here or something like that. And you're like, are you, or no, first it's like, are you okay? Like, making sure yeah. that she's not like, you know, it had been raped or something. Right. And then she's like, do you, do, in any of those bags, do you have a sweatshirt? And he actually takes his own shirt off and gives it to her. Mm. So she, she's, he's like, I've got stuff I can give you. Can you, would you, would you come with me to my apartment? She's like, I'm not a serial killer. <laughs> and so she does. His name is Smith. His first name is Smith, which I fucking love. Yeah, that's love hot. it. That's hot. He's a boxer. Hotter. He's Evan's next door neighbor. Hot. Hottest. Yeah. Yep. So they get to talking because she's standing there naked. Almost naked. Yeah. Yep. And so um, <laughs> he's like, I'll get you some clothes. And so she, he, she, she finds out he's a boxer and she uh, is like, you know, um, oh, he, he gives her uh, ice cream and he says, um, I only, uh, I don't have, um, I only, I work out because she says, oh, there's thin walls. She goes, um, I'm just going to say that pretty much like leaving it out. They're like, thin walls. He goes, oh, you must have heard me working out. She's like, uh, is that what they're calling it? Pretty much like, is that what they're calling it nowadays? He's like, no, I, I get stressed out and I need to work out. And. And so and she gives her ice cream and I forgot how, what the inner exchange is. This is something along the lines of like, he's, he's so buff. He must, you know, he must be heartbroken all the time. And, um, she looks so good that she must never, cause she's like, I only eat when I'm like depressed. And he's like, you must be the happiest person on the planet <laughs> or something along those lines. <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. And so anyhow, <clears throat> so she's like, they leave, she leaves, nothing happens. She waits because he says, I, I don't date when I'm, when, when I'm training. He says, I have a fight in two weeks. Fair. She remembers that. Guess he comes back in her trench coat and her G-string. Holla. She walks in. The door's open. There's a noise coming from the, from the bathroom. He's taking a shower. And all he says is, took you long enough. I've been waiting two weeks. Get in here. Nice. And then they have fucking sexy sex. And then the next morning, he says, so he's like, well, let me go buy you dinner. She's like, we're doing this all out of order. And he goes, <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. I saw your ass before your, I saw your face. It would make sense that I'm inside you before we share a meal. <laughs> we also have in the, in the movie... We've got a palm against the shower door, a la Titanic. Nice. <laughs> I mean, not into, you know, against uh -huh. the sweaty window. Yep. Oops. Um, and then the next morning, as they're leaving, you go to dinner. Evan comes out, and he's like, "All right, my man, what up? I heard it through the wall." And and then he sees Ava, and she's like, "Yup, yup." Um, so that's how that went in. It was very cute. It was, I that's really, awesome. liked, I really like that. The acting was great. We had, um, two, uh, people of color. So oh, I think they were, they were both, um, Latin. So I enjoyed that. She's gorgeous. <laughs> also like talk about looking healthy. Like she looks great. Like she's not like one of those ones where you're like, God, where are your organs at? Like, <laughs> like they're yeah. so skinny. She like no, I mean like a, 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 an actress that looks like I don't say one of those that, that I need to be a qualifier, um, an actress where it doesn't look like they have any organs. She looks great. She looked banging in her because um, she's nice. in freaking lingerie the whole time. 
And he was he was cute too. Um, but I would recommend both the short story and the movie on that one. Awesome. Um, yeah, like and honestly, it's it was funny because there was more sex in the in the the actual episode than there were there was in the book. But both were mm. good. I would be interested to see to read. I mean, I, we will be reading more from V. Keelan. So yeah, yeah, I'm excited about that. Yeah. So that's that is. Page to screen. That's so exciting. Episode two. I legit want to read both of those and then also watch the passion. Play. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so coming up guys, um, we have a documentary that we're going to be mm-hmm. watching. Yep. Um, we have the pride and prejudice musical to watch also at some point mm-hmm. uh, on Amazon. Um, if you have any suggestions of anything that we might be interested in, um, I'm going to do driven. Oh, that's right. That's right. You're going to yeah. do driven, which is coming up. Flicks. Like the, we're yeah. not, that's not scheduled. It's just that's on the list um, by Kate Bromberg. And I'm working on Wicked mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right now. So I'll probably review Wicked. Um, she has um, another one, too. On I was just on Passion Flix's website. Oh. There's like another one from her. Well, Passion Flix, too, is rough because they'll put like all these ones up there that they're supposedly filming, but I don't see them. Mm. as being like but anyhow but i know wicked is because there's actually a trailer for it um but yeah so that's that's that guys i hope you enjoyed yay um Um, please let us know uh additional recommendations for uh any passion flicks movies that you have seen that you think perhaps we should mm -hmm. get in on um let us know you can Go to our website at chickletbookclubpodcast.com. Check us out on Twitter at Chicklet Podcast. Visit our TikTok, Chicklet Book Club. Pinterest uh, is Chicklet Book Club Podcast. You can email us at chickletbookclubpodcast at gmail.com. Um, and please check us out on YouTube. Again, I'm not reading that to you. Y'all can Google it. Um, Googs. Googs. Anyway, Thank you all for joining us for episode yeah. two of Page to Screen. screen. I love um, this. I'm so yeah, glad it's we're super doing fun. It. Um, I know <laughs> it's super fun, and we get to like, I mean, branch out a little bit because um, we both enjoy obviously different medium than mm-hmm. just just reading. Oh so, yes, but it combines our two faves. All right, Smut my dear, and film. <laughs> Well, yes, yes. Porn, 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 porn. And, and porn and smut in the written form. Yes. Yeah. I mean, erotica and visual porn, I guess. I mean, yeah, whatever. Yeah, porn. There's no judgment here. Nope. Fuck no. Judgment free zone. Nope. Absolutely. All right, y'all. Happy until, reading. Yeah. Until next time. Until next <gasps> time. Bye. 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 <laughs>